project that I did involves uh, the work of three poets that were um, around a part of a very important um, art movement in Spain. I mean, really the most important art movement in the 20th century. And uh, these poets were basically marginalized because they were women. And so there has not been as much work done on them or as much analysis academically or otherwise um, of their work as there has been of the men's work. In fact, a lot of people aren't even aware that there were women around, but of course there were, and not just poets, but painters, and, you know, Dali wasn't, it wasn't all men making, uh, you know, surrealist paintings or, or poetry. The work that I did is relevant to the issue of women's studies for an obvious sort of self-evident reason. I mean, it's, um, and, and that is, that is who was giving the awards was, um, the institution was, you know, CUNY's Women's Studies, um, and also the Women's Center here um, in at the MCC. The three women that I uh, that I wrote about were Ernestina de Champursin, Concha Mendes, and um, Josefina de la Torre. These women were important for several reasons. Uh, one of them is the obvious, you know, artwork that they made, the character of, you know, the, the work that they created, the poetry that they created. Um, they weren't all s purely poets. They were also, um, uh, one of them was also an actress and a musician, and that's uh, Josefina de la Torre. And Concha Mendes was also involved in publishing a lot of the work that was very important um, to that generation. It's called the Generation of 1927 is the name of the name that's given to the group generally, and how it's re referenced. Um, but uh, so a lot of the work, like for example, a lot of people are familiar with Federico Garcia Lorca. He's sort of the most famous person in that group. I mean, besides of the poets, he's the most famous. There's also Salvador Dalí, the painter, the surrealist painter. Um, but, uh, but specifically, I mean, she put out his work, she put out other people's work, so she also was involved in that, but she also made her own poetry. And she was, um, she was in exile, like some of the other poets lived in exile. The reason why I think um, that their work is significant is also because, I mean, it was a very interesting time politically and artistically. It was a very re repressive period in history and, you know, a place in general, but also very specifically in my work, um, I'm focusing on the repression of women in that time period. And the fact that these women were pioneers because they were doing something that they weren't really supposed to be doing by society standards, but they did it anyway. You know, they were artists. They were, um, they were, they totally stepped outside of the role of women in their society. And that has a lasting effect because anytime, um, you know, anybody who's oppressed takes steps forward and pushes, that affects us in the present. And so, I mean, I see my work now, you know, doing something academic and also I'm, I'm a musician and an artist. I see it as being related to people like that, you know? And so I think it's incredibly inspiring and also instructive to learn about them. And so I think that, you know, a full, uh, historic or academic account of that generation and everything you know that it did has to involve women and so it has not it has not been that way and I feel like that's important